Bugsy Prime here. No, nah, no, nah, seriously, it's Bugsy No Name right now. I'm not really even in character. But, um, you guys want to know something? I, I love Homestead. And I know you guys are probably like, well, duh, Bugsy. I mean, like, you have your characters as god tiers. They're pretty much all dirt sites, and you know, and we all know that. We know, dude. We fucking know. And I'm like, how do you fucking know, you sons of bitches? How do you know? How do you know I'm a dirt site? How do you, how do you fucking know? How do you fucking know? And then we just look at each other for a minute. And you say you're a prospectioner, and I just go, or a prospite. I just go, alright, alright, whatever. Whatever. Have your fucking, have your fucking gold city. Purple is fine. Purple is fine, god damn it. Anyways. Getting to the point. Now, I love, I love going to like SatCon every summer. You know, through VR chat. I love hanging out with all the Homestuck fans. I mean, this year was kind of low because I didn't see it was like a big, big, big turnout. <sighs> but it was still nice. You know, um, I kind of have mixed feelings about what Pumpkin after the whole Sarah Z thing. Like, Ozzy, uh, you literally, literally stuck your foot in that. I, I ain't even gonna fucking say that that was like the most poorest decision you could have ever possibly made for someone that didn't even know what was going on, but made a video saying how they felt about the situation. Like, I, I don't even know. Like, they were, like, what bucket was really trying to, out, like, out here trying to sue Sarah Z for some fucking reason. It's like, and then MCN was like, hey, y'all fucking, and her MCN was like, y'all fucking serious about this? And they kind of backed down, so, her MCN fucking saved the day. But it really just showed how I believe what Pumpkin were kind of dicks in that regard. So I'm like a little on the fence. Do I want to get the next high swap? So that means I'd have to like beat it and wait for the next one. And then does that beg the question that there's are they still doing haunt switch? Which probably leads me to a bunch of other, other shit, I'm sure. Mate, like they said something about a cult for Hot Twins, so maybe there's like a Merfolk Messiah cult on Earth. And that's kind of interesting to go, that's kind of an interesting thing to go at. But, um, yeah. I read Homestuck back when it, back when it first started. And I eagerly await, like, the updates. You know? I really liked the characters. And when we got to the trolls, that, like, I really liked the trolls. That was back when I didn't really have voices for them, and I kind of... Like, let's be real, my freaking, my freaking homesick voices are me just copying Octopimp to an extent. But some of you already know that. But I just love, I love the characters, I love the world, and I feel like, um, Beyond Ken really had a slow, kind of weird start. Because, you know, the epilogues were kind of, uh, well, uh, I gotta be real with you. They were fucking depressing. Like, Jesus. 
Jesus, like freaking, like freaking John gonna go back and fight Lord English only to die while uh, Candy John is like, well, so, you know, I should have did something. Something's missing. Something's missing. What is missing? Like, throughout the whole thing, you're just like, oh, come on, John. Jesus. Jesus, you know what you need to do? What the fuck? I feel like they should have, um, I feel like the, I feel like the Ren team should have called back to that, how John really felt like nothing was, like, real, even though things were real. And, you know, stuff like that. But, um, I like how the story's going. I got to see, I got to see Solix again, which was really, 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 just really fun seeing Solix again. With his, with his, with his void, with his void eyes when, like, with his void eyes playing Donkey Kong. I mean, if I was on the meteor, I guess all I would do is play fucking Donkey Kong. It's just a little exchange that John has with, like, Solix. These motherfuckers have never interacted. And, like, just for a little bit, it was kind of fun just having those guys interact and play off each other. So, and Mina, I think, and Mina and Karkat are running the resistance. I don't know if they're flushed. Don't ask me. I don't, I don't fucking know. I think they are, but I'm not even sure. Like, fucking Karkat just said, like, like, in the other lines, Karkat just said, fuck this. I'm not gonna be sitting around with a racist and a person who literally killed all my friends. I'm just fucking done. And Dave was like, Karkat, come back. Come on. And like, it, it really got, it really got fucking stupid, like, like Jade going, I knew Carcat and Dave had planned for each other, and I was like, oh god. Then I found out, you know, Jade's pepperoni secret that I'm still kind of mad, I'm still kind of pissed off about because it led to Yiffy. Like. Everyone's like, oh, but Yiffy's so cool. No, Yiffy's got a cool design. We ain't never heard her speak yet. Y'all acting like Yiffy is, like, the best character in the world. She has not spoken a single word. Yes, we know she's angry at... We know she's angry at Jane, and rightfully so. I understand that. But the thing is, I want Yiffy to speak. Like literally justify her existence, her inclusion in this story, instead of her just being shock value because Hussey felt the need to do that. Like, I did not, we did not need Jade having a gigantic you-know-what. I'm just saying. And I did not need to see, I did not need to know that, like, Rose, you know, was out here taking, taking knots. I did not need to see, I did not need to know that shit either, man. Like, ugh. It's just, like, when you think about Yiffy, it just raises a lot of problems and issues and shit. I'm sorry, it's just me finally coming to grips with, with that shit because I've been holding that back forever. And I don't want to be like a dick here, but like, I just think, I don't know, man. I think the whole fact that Jade, Jade just like gave, you know, gave Rose the, you know, gave Rose the uh, pounding of a lifetime just kind of fuck, just fucks with me, man. It fucks with me. And the fact that she never told... The fact that it was like 13 years and like he... Like she never told Kanaya. Like Kanaya would have been cool. Kanaya would have been cool. Would have been down with it if they actually explained it. I think she wouldn't have been that mad about it. You know? Rose being kind of a surrogate but... Then they were talking about like physical shit, and I was like, "Oh God, it wasn't like that at all." God damn, it wasn't like that at all. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That's exactly how I felt. That is exactly how I felt with you. But fast forward, uh, the two the two briskets get kidnapped, and they get out, and we find out more about the point. And then before they kind of went on a little hiatus, um, basically we found out their universe is in a black hole, which I don't even know if they're doing or not. It's 
still now with the new ranks, the new writing crew and everything. Um, but it's looking pretty good. It's shaving up to be something I'm actually excited about. And they, if they don't go too political, I think we're good, man. Like, I was like, hope they're going to be political. Like, okay, I will give you, I will give you Alternia. I will give you a little bit of Alternia. But the Alternia was basically a fucking dictatorship with class, with, cl with a class structure. But I'm just saying, people are just saying, oh, they're going to be like, bro, no. I don't know. I, I don't know. I just think them opening up with politics was kind of both divisive and, in my opinion, and this is my opinion, really fucking dumb. And I get it. Megan, Megan Jane, I still, like, Megan Jane to, like, Better Witch 2 to kind of fit Dirk's little narrative of making another story and making it have... Making it make sense and shit. Like I get that, but on a on a on a personal story level, to me it just don't make sense because it's not really an exciting incident that just makes her go, wait, I never liked these trolls or wait, I kind of hate Jig, but I kind of want them at the same time. Like there was never like an actual like turning point for Jay. Like, she just turns into a and like, Funk McLovin goes, you know, well, it's like real life, you know, people, like, some people will just turn into, into horrible people in front of your very ass. No, he said, like, they'll turn into fashion for your very ass. No, I agree with the fact that people will turn, uh, dickish before your very eyes. I mean, my pal, my old, my old, my old ex-friend, Krim was uh, very, very much proof of that. But I'm still like, no one just turned, but you know, friends, friends split shit. But no one just turns into a goddamn fascist. <laughs> like right away. It's not like it's deliberate, but they made it sound like it was so deliberate. Like it just, like it just happened. Like it just happened right away. It was like, boom. Well, I hate trolls now, but I'm also going, but I'm also going to get Gamzy to like honk her boobs. I don't even understand, man. Like, you got, like, let's be real. And I love, I, I love Jake English. I ain't trying to hate on him, but Jakey, old boy, you got cucked by Gamzy. How is that fucking possible, man? What? What was his, was his bone bulge? Was he packing more in his bone bulge than we could ever possibly know? <laughs> I was like, and don't even get me started on, don't even get me started on the kid, the kid's name is Tavros. I, like, Jane, what the fuck were you thinking? Because I know, I know Jake wouldn't have called him Tavros. Bro, I let Gamzy call him Tavros. That's just, oof. I still think I still think Gamzy isn't fucking dead though. Like, uh, in the like they got the one in the candy timeline who is dead, but I don't think he's fucking dead. I still don't think he's fucking dead. Come on, guys. It's too easy for Gans to be not dead, man. Like, he's just out of here. I don't believe that shit. But I do... But I do think that, like... I do think... But I've been thinking about the point And what it is. And what what entails there but I need more but I'm gonna need uh, another I'm gonna need another few weeks to really talk about that but yeah also Roxy and Mina have like this whole fucking like 
uh, back and forth after what happened it happened at Harry like Harry Anderson's birthday and I'm just like wondering to myself okay that's just that's just I don't even know I thought it was like something like really fucked up but like apparently involved piercing balloons and shit so yeah and there's like little mo and like for this update there was like a little bit with Friska and like John bantering back and forth and John making like little jokes about movies and shit I just really fucking enjoyed that you know the you know the fr the John Friska shipper in me is like yes yes ship them ship them ship them do it do it do it I know it's not gonna happen. It's just me. It's just me fucking projecting, and I understand that. But I'm still cold and bitter, like outside right now. I don't care. Still should have happened. God damn it. That's why I miss. That's why I miss Nightfall so much because there was a lot of just drawn and frisket shipping, and I loved every minute of it. So. So yeah, that was pretty, it was pretty, so yeah. But other than that, I actually really enjoyed the update. I think Homestuck Beyond Canon is getting, is actually doing a little bit better. I don't, like, I don't know, maybe it was the, the old writers planning to go this way because they knew that they were kind of skewing in another direction or maybe that's the new writing team's whole a bag? Really? Don't know. I don't know how long this is all going to get finished. Probably be a few years. Like, we're going to go on another fucking Homestuck ride again. But, in any case, I'm just really happy. It's like I'm a teenager again, reading Homestuck again. Like, it never left. And sure, I get other feelings. For, I get other kinds of fan homesick stuff that makes me feel like that, but I don't know, since it feels like official, it just hits differently for me, I guess. But I'll see but I'll see you guys later. Um I really, 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 really kind of enjoy um I really kind of enjoy I really enjoy um Homestuck. I wanna see more Terezi because I wanna see what the fuck I wanna see what Terezi's gonna do next. And uh we kinda need to talk about that whole Rose and Terezi making out thing. I hated it. I hated it. Y'all know Y'all know I sh you y'all know I'm a I'm a Rose and Kanaya Shepherd dudes. Y'all know. Y'all know. I should I should be human and a freaking troll every freaking day. I ship my two I ship my two lesbian characters every day. God damn it. It's just like in every like you guys know this in like every universe. Either Rose just leaves with Dirk or Rose just takes it from freaking Freaking Jade, I'm so mad about I'm so mad about that guys. I'm so mad about it and horrified. So horrified. Like cuzzy, why? Why give freaking Why give Jade a red rocket? Why? Why was that? why is that a thing? Why did you feel the need to do that? You didn't have to do that. It was, you like, that didn't have to be canon, but no, you had to just do that. And then Giffy's around, and then, like, I just want Giffy to fucking speak. Like, none, none of this growling, breaking shit. No, I want Giffy to speak. To talk and be like, hey, you know, hey, Mama. Hey, can I, or something. Give me something to work with, god damn it. <sighs> I love Homestuck. There are still some things from Beyond Canon that have uh, 
scarred me a bit. Like, only a bit. And that scar is healed to an extent. But still, I'm just saying, make Yiffy talk. Next time she's, next time she got some panel time, make her talk for God's sakes. I need to get a good feel of her actually, not like not by her body movements and what she does. I mean, everybody hates Jane, and she would hate Jane even more because Jane basically was an asshole to her. I get that, but I want to fucking see. Yiffy speak, okay? Alright, that's what that's what I want. I, I'm sorry. Like this this is gonna end happy, but you you guys know I'm just like y'all like Yiff y'all like Yiffy and y'all like Yiffy and shit, but like she hasn't spoke. She hasn't fucking spoke and you guys are like, no, she's good. Like I wanna hear I wanna hear her speak. Speak That's how I feel. And I'm just glad, I'm just glad we got a homesick thing that's updating kind of, kind of regularly. And it just feels like old times, but, uh, <laughs> I have my problems with it. I have my problems with it from the old writers, and I hope the new writers rectify it. But, I shall see you later. Peace and have a pleasant evening. Have a pleasant evening, everybody. Yeah. Okay. You watching the Bitty Bot Network. Yeah.